This is the UR18R ultrasonic retroreflective sensor from Balmer. Operating principle is similar to a light barrier, however, no special reflector is required. Any machine part is used to reflect the ultrasonic. This sensor can be taught in the first five minutes when it is powered up. After that, it locks to prevent operators to change its settings. The sensor can be taught when the blue light is present. After these five minutes, the blue LED switches off. You teach the sensor by using a ferromagnetic tool, a tool with iron, like a hex key, a spanner, or a screwdriver. This sensor has three levels to teach. Level one is a one-point teach, and the position of reflector might change by plus minus 5%. Level 2 is also a one point each, and the position of reflector might change by plus minus 10%. And level 3 is a factory reset. To teach the sensor, we go into teach level 1. We reach teach level 1 by using QTeach for 2 seconds. Now it starts to flash, and what we have to do now, we have to teach the sensor against a background, an object in the background, a reflector, this being the reflector for this demonstration. So we confirm this is the reflector we want to use, wait a few seconds until the sensor defaults into running mode, which is now. And now the sensor is just looking at the reference target at the background and anything, any object that breaks the beam in between will be properly detected. In teach mode 1 there is a small plus minus 5% distance allowance for the reflector. So it may move about 5% closer or 5% further away than center positioning and the sensor indicates this kind of dangerous part still operating by a flashing amber LED. As soon as this reverence background moves out of range, too far away, too close, the sensor does not work anymore. So we need this reference target to be within a certain distance. Having gone through teach level 1, let's move on to teach level 2. Teach level 2 is accessed by using QTeach for 4 seconds, After four seconds, the LED flashes at twice the speed as before. The difference between teach level one and teach level two is the allowance of the movement of the reference target, which is now plus minus 10% as compared to plus minus 5% in teach mode one. Certain applications might require that the reference target moves a bit more and then this is the mode to choose, teach level 2. In order to demonstrate how to change the sensor's output from normally open to normally closed, I quickly go into teach mode 1. Teach mode 1 is accessed by using QTeach for 2 seconds. Now it starts to flash. You just have to confirm the distance to the target, then confirm again. And this second confirmation changes the sensor's output from normally open to normally closed. Now let's attempt to set the sensor back into factory mode. In order to do that, we have to go into teach level 3. We use QTeach again. 
past first level, past second level. Now we're third level. It flashes very rapidly. We just have to remove the tool, and the sensor has been set back into factory default settings. It's as easy as that. Thank you.